The Langley Arts Council has been working really hard to find new ways to bring arts to the community, whether it's the Arts Pacific Art Gallery in our own Langley Arts Council studio, showcasing fine arts painted by artists throughout BC, or it's our musical theater classes run on Saturdays, taught by yours truly. The Langley Arts Council is also bringing to the community our brand new online concert series. And finally, the Langley Arts Council is bringing to you our online story time series with stories written by local authors and read by me. For more information, visit us at langleyarts.ca. our online story time sessions. I am Lauren Trotzik here with the Langley Arts Council and also welcome back to Hugh the J-Plant who will be joining me for our story time session today. Today I'm going to be reading to you Not Cannot written by local Maple Ridge artist and author Tiffany Stone and with illustrations by Mike Lowry. Also Not Cannot has been published by Dial Books for Young Readers, an imprint of Penguin Random House. Let's get started. So before I get started, I should let you know I read about the author, and Tiffany Stone, not only does she live in Maple Ridge, which is like a 10 minute drive for me, but she has two snakes. Just the coolest thing ever. Just wanted to share that. Okay. Not cannot. And on the first page we see not who's sighing. I don't know why not is sighing. Let's find out. So here we can see not. Oh no, not's got his phrase stuck in a cactus. Poor not. Have you ever touched a cactus before? No. I stepped on a cactus once in bare feet and I had the little prickles stuck in my feet. It was not a fun experience. But look at Snake. Snake is just like slithering through. Snake is super confident and cool. This is not. Oh my gosh. And it's the cutest knot I've ever seen in my entire life. This is not knot. This is Snake. Snake is like, hiss. Yes, I'm Snake. Knot aches to be like Snake. I mean, Snake is pretty cool. Snake can slither, not cannot. Not's like, uh, a little help, I'm stuck. Snake can hiss, hiss. And look at those eyebrows. Snake's got like those, mmm. You ever see somebody with eyebrows like that? I'm gonna tell you right now, run for it. Even the little bug is like, yikes, them eyebrows. Not cannot hiss. Oh no, a gnat. Oh, fun fact, a gnat is like a bug, but for some reason it's like there's a G in front of it, like a silent G, gnat. <laughs> and Nas was like, hey, get off me. I know the feeling when you got like a bug on you and you're like, yeah. Snake can swallow her supper whole. Snake's like, mmm, this mouse be yummy. And the poor mouse is like, I don't know where I am. Not cannot. <laughs> not does not eat supper. Ugh, I wish I had a mouth. Me too, not. I would eat that cake, I would eat that pizza, would, and then I would eat more cake. Snake can even shed her skin. Ooh, Snake looks brand new and shiny, and Snake is like, hmm, I'm shiny. Not, cannot look brand new? No, he's afraid not. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> not is not impressed. Haha, <laughs> Tiffany Stone, she can play at this pun game. Oh, Nat is just laughing. Cannot do this. Snake is like slithering through this tree. Hop, hop, hop. Poor Nat doesn't even have legs, no. Nat cannot. Cannot do this. Snake is like, mmm, sailing through the lake like a boat. Nat cannot. Nat bobs. Well, to be fair, at least Nat can bob. I can't even swim. I would just sink to the bottom, so good job, Nat. Cannot do this. What? Snake is like, what is this? I love it. Snake is like going upstairs. Not cannot. Neither can I not. That's crazy. That's awesome. What cannot do? Sigh. Not a lot. I feel like not probably can do a lot, but just isn't really believing in himself right now. Ooh. Snake tastes the air with her tongue. Not, not. Oh no! Danger! Snake is like sweating. For this whole book, Snake's been like, I can swim, I can climb trees, but now Snake is super, super worried. 
What is the danger? Bird lands nearby. And like bird is like not licking her lips, but like licking her beak. She's like, mmm, I smell snake. And snake is super scared for the first time. And Knot is like, oh, what are we going to do? But Knot is not afraid. Mm -mm. Because, oh man, Knot is not bird beak shaped size. Knot's too wide. Knot's like, <laughs> bird cannot swallow Knot. But who can bird swallow? Bird can swallow snake. Snake is just right. Snake is like, uh-oh. Snake is afraid. Snake cannot escape. What can Knot do? And Knot's such a good friend. Knot is like, mm, put him up. I'm ready to fight for Snake. Knot has a brilliant idea. Knot can. What can Knot do? Knot takes Snake. Snake is like, girl, what are you doing? <gasps> Knot cannot! Look, the snake is a perfect little knot. Bird can't swallow a great big knot. Snake is safe. Whew! Bird flies off. Not bad knot. Aw, and snake gives knot just like a little lick kiss on the cheek. I've never been like licked by a snake before, but I feel like for knot that's probably pretty awesome. And even Nat is like, aw. Knot still can't slither. Not still can't hiss. Not still can't swallow his supper whole. Not's like, that's okay, I'm not hungry anyway. Not can't shed his skin or climb or swim or bend or taste danger. But what can Not do? Not can do a lot. Look at all of these different knots that Not can put into snake. Oh my goodness. Overhand Not? I can barely tie my shoes in a knot. Good job, Not. High five. I think that Knot probably could have done a lot of things. And even though Knot was always trying to compare himself to Snake and all the things that Snake could do, I think Knot had a lot of talents and skills that maybe he didn't realize. I think sometimes we do that. Maybe, you know, we compare ourselves to our friends or our family. We see all the awesome things that we can do, but we forget all the things that we're really, really good at. Just like Knot. Knot was such a good friend and always had Snake's best interest at heart. I think sometimes it's really important to just look at yourself and look at all the things that you're good at and really appreciate that you're super special and super talented too. Not that you shouldn't try different things like trying to be like Snake and trying to be a swimmer or trying to eat a mouse hole. Maybe don't try that at home kids. But it's always important to know that you have talents and you're really special too. So thank you so much to Tiffany Stone and to Mike Lowry for this fantastic book. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, please come and join us next week. Thanks. Say bye, you. Bye. If you would like to get your own copy of Not Cannot, maybe as a Christmas gift for someone, you can look for it at Chapters in Indigo, Amazon, or on IndieBound, which hooks you up with local independent bookstores where you may be able to find this precious little book. You can also check your local library to see if you can take it out and enjoy reading it with your family or a friend. I know I will be.